Hi, Life Changers. Welcome back to the Jim Dempsey Fundraising Channel. Today, I'm going to discuss a pivotal aspect of year-end fundraising, incorporating the personal touch of a follow-up phone call. Grab a pen and let's get started. Four years ago, I was forwarded an inquiry from an individual who wanted to know about our nonprofit's efforts on college campuses, specifically the efforts at a school in Los Angeles and one in San Diego. For you see, this individual had two granddaughters who were starting at those schools and wanted to make sure that they not only got off on a strong academic footing, but also a strong spiritual footing. After a brief conversation, I agreed to send him a proposal that not only included a budget and needs specific to those campuses where his granddaughters attended, but also for our efforts nationally. In doing my research, I knew he had given a few medium-sized gifts to us in the past, but nothing significant. However, it seemed that he had much greater capacity and thus the appeal reflected his capacity and not his past giving levels. We set up a phone call towards the end of the year to discuss the proposal. It was apparent from the beginning that he'd done his homework. He studied all the documents and peppered me with questions about strategy and effectiveness. After about an hour on the phone, he was satisfied with my answers. He thanked me for responding to each question and then said, I've decided to give 10,000 to each of the two campuses and 150,000 to your national efforts. That first year, I made sure he got reports of how his gift was used and even included photos of one of his granddaughters who got very immersed in our ministry. The second year, he added three more schools to his portfolio and since has increased the amount given to each. We become close and he trusts me to get him the answers he needs. Two simple phone calls in the beginning really laid the groundwork for a deep, meaningful relationship during that first year end. He lives in California and I live in Orlando, but the phone connects us and keeps us together. Sending out a heartfelt letter is the foundation of the perfect year end appeal strategy, but the true magic happens when you pick up the phone and directly connect with your donors. In this comprehensive guide, I'm going to explore the top five strategies to master this nuanced skill and elevate your year-end fundraising endeavors to unprecedented heights. Strategy number one, crafting an engaging script. Your phone call script isn't just words on paper. It's your roadmap to a fruitful conversation. Start with a warm and sincere greeting, expressing genuine gratitude for their past support. Remind them of the incredible impact that their previous contributions have made, painting a vivid picture of the lives touched and changed. Be concise, clear, and compelling. Utilize stories and anecdotes that showcase how their involvement has created their positive ripples. If you sent them a year-end letter, follow up by asking them, did you get that letter? Remember, personalization is the key. Tailor your script based on their previous interactions with your organization, and most importantly, rehearse your script thoroughly. Confidence and naturalness are the bedrock of effective communication. Strategy number two, building genuine connections. Treat every call as a unique opportunity to establish a personal bond. Listen actively and emphatically to what the partner is expressing. 
pose open-ended questions and invite them to share their thoughts and feelings. Demonstrate authentic interest in their responses. Remember and reference specific details from their prior engagements with your organization. This showcases your appreciation for their ongoing commitment. Establishing these genuine connections not only makes the partner feel profoundly valued, but also significantly increases the likelihood of their continued support. Strategy number three, overcoming objections effectively. It's natural for our donors or partners to have concerns or hesitations. The key is to address these objections with empathy and confidence. Listen attentively without interrupting, acknowledging their concerns and validating their emotions. Don't immediately try and justify decisions that were made. Simply listen. Respond with pertinent and reassuring information, providing concrete examples of how your organization adeptly handles the very issues they're worried about. Be well prepared to tackle common objections such as financial transparency or the tangible impact of their gift. Addressing these concerns with professionalism and empathy can transform hesitations into enthusiastic support. Strategy number four, making a compelling appeal. Articulate the specific project or initiative their gift will bolster. Hopefully, they got and read your letter, so make sure that they understood it. Paint a vibrant and emotionally resonant picture of the transformation their gift can catalyze. Engage their hearts and minds by using evocative language that fosters empathy and connection. Convey the urgency of the situation underlying how their timely gift can become a beacon of hope for what is going on and where you're headed. Share success stories and heartfelt testimonials related to similar projects, allowing the partners to tangibly witness the positive outcomes of their support. A compelling appeal isn't just persuasive. It evokes a powerful emotional response, inspiring our partners to take immediate action. Strategy number five. Finally, our fifth and crucial strategy centers around expressing gratitude and thoughtful follow-up. Just as I followed up with the individual in California, it's important that you do the same. Regardless of the outcome of the call, express heartfelt gratitude for their time and consideration. Thank them sincerely whether they decide to give or not. If a gift is made as a commitment, confirm the pertinent details, such as the amount and preferred method of payment and when they will send that gift. Follow up with a personalized email or letter that succinctly summarizes the conversation, expressing gratitude once again and confirming the specifics of their commitment. It's imperative to uphold our promises If additional information was promised, ensure it reaches them promptly. Make sure the gift goes where they designated it and that you can report back on how it was used. Thoughtful and proactive follow-up not only reinforces your organization's reliability, but also fortifies the partnership relationship, nurturing it into a lasting partnership. There you have it a comprehensive guide to infuse your year-end appeal with the personal touch of a phone call exclusively on the Jim Dempsey Fundraising Channel. Crafting an engaging script, building genuine connections, overcoming objections, making a compelling appeal and expressing gratitude through meticulous follow-up. These strategies are not just techniques, they're bridges that connect your organization's mission with the heart of your partners. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. 
and leave a comment below if there were things that you especially liked or if there were topics you'd like to address. And let this community of life changers know that you're a part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next channel. Getting this video out to others, especially your end, will make a difference. If you wish to follow me on Twitter or X, go to Jim W. Dempsey on Instagram, also at Jim W. Dempsey, or if you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Dava. If you wish to be part of a community of like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded at year end. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.